good morning so today we are going to know about the forms of energy under the topic of forms of energy to know about it first we should know work so in our daily life we'll see different types of works and we'll do different types of works also for example when you are waking up onwards you'll brush your teeth you'll pull your bag you'll get ready and you'll eat and you'll start from your house to school on bicycle means what you're doing there you are displacing from one place to another place there you have doing some work so today we are going to do some work in our classroom so what is it means i'll just ask you to pull the bench in your classroom and I, or i'll just ask you to push the wall and what is your answer you'll say that you have done lot of work but is it actually the wall got displaced no the wall doesn't displace means in that case there is no work the work was not done when can you say the work is done to say about the work as briefly let us apply some a little amount of force on a block of mass as m first i'll say about work to know about this we are going to apply some force on the block of mass m a little force i told for example i am applying 1 newton of force so for this amount of force the object is not moving i am increasing the force to some 10 newton now the object started displacing the displacement in it is s bar and it is reaching to this point the mass is m so now due to this force the object is displacing we can say the work was done that is w work so we can say this w is depending on factors the factors on which it is depending the first one is due to the force the object is displacing so i'll say it is the force it is depending on the force and it is also depending on displacement now you came to know about the work done which is depending on the factors as force displacement so as we know that force is f and i am writing on its head with an arrow means the meaning of this one is it is a vector so what is a vector what is a vector means the physical quantity which is having magnitude which is having magnitude and direction so you can know now what is magnitude what is direction now i apply 10 newton of force 10 represents 10 represents magnitude 10 represents magnitude here so first two i'll speak about magnitude magnitude means here 10 10 represents magnitude now force got applied along this direction so now for the physical quantity of vector next we are going to see about direction here the force got applied on the block of mass m in this direction so you came to know the force 
f r is a vector and it is having magnitude and direction. The force is a vector which is having magnitude and direction. So, and what about displacement? Displacement is also vector. Here, due to this force, the object is displacing along this direction. It is having magnitude and direction. So, this is S bar. So, I can write now the work done as F bar and S bar. When I am writing work done, I have written as like this W equal to F bar into S bar. Here into I am mentioning means I am using a product. So, the product in the case of the work done, we are going to write in two ways. So, that is the product, the first one is dot product and another one is cross. Dot means simply we will represent with a dot, cross means we will represent with cross. So, now we are going to write for work W is equal to F bar dot S bar, S bar dot S bar. Now you came to know that work done is nothing but force into displacement. So, if you remove the dot between force and displacement, what happens? That we are going to know. done is equal to f bar dot s bar. Now, I am going to remove the dot. When I remove dot, I should represent the component of the force. Here, the component of the force is f bar s bar cos theta, f bar s bar cos theta. That is a work done. So, to know about this force component, we will see our daily life example. Now, to know about the daily life example, just we come to our previous example now. Let us apply some force in with some angle in the horizontal to the horizontal. So, that is I am applying the force with an angle like theta with the horizontal, theta with the horizontal, this is a force F bar. So, now what happens now? I applied the force to the horizontal with some angle. How can you find that angle component of the force which is with some angle theta, how it is? So, to know it, let us consider now a small situation where you will apply the force. So, that is when you are playing with a car or a toy car, you try to pull the car by applying some force by connecting it with the thread. So, you are applying force with some angle to the horizontal. Let us assume that is theta. Now, to know about that force, how it is helping this trolley to displace from this place to this place, I am going to apply force with some angle as theta that angle I am going to show you. To know about this, first you drop the perpendicular. So, this will become as a triangle now. The car is getting displaced 
by the application of force with some angle theta. So I can find what is the component of the force along horizontal direction with the help of this triangle. So I know that the perpendicular over here is nothing but it is a normal reaction and the component which is parallel to this one is frictional force. So I try to find out now. So now here I know the force applied and the perpendicular force and parallel force. How I am, how I am applying the force? So here it is easy for me if I use cos angle that is I will write cos theta. Cos theta represent for me that is cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. The adjacent is frictional force F and the hypotenuse applied force. So this component is small f is equal to F cos theta. So now we came to know what is the component of the force here. That is nothing but frictional force F is becoming as F cos theta. So write this one as F cos theta. This is only helping the toy car to displace from one place to another place. So same thing we will apply over here our block of mass m that is I applied the component of the force as f cos theta. Now this is helping me to displace therefore work done is f bar h bar cos theta. Sometimes what is happening we cannot able to displace the object means what is happening there the component is becoming zero means we can say this work can become as zero. So in which situations you can see the work this work in which situations as zero that we are going to know. So first we are going to know about zero work. So that is the work done is zero. Zero work means let us see one example like a man who is having some load on his head. He was standing and he is bearing some weight on his head. The person is not moving in this case and the load is also not moving. He is just simply holding on his head. Means is there any displacement in this load or is there any displacement in the man? No, he is just simply standing. High with some load on his head. There is no displacement in the load in the man. So I can say displacement is zero. Therefore, the work done F bar into zero. Therefore, work done is equal to zero. There is no work. Here the work is zero. Still one more example we will see. When you can say this work is zero. Let us say in the case of an object is moving along a circular path. The object started its position at this point again reaching to the same point. 
means what's happening here? The displacement is zero. So what happens to work done now? W equal to FR into zero. Again, the work is zero. Let us see one more example for zero work. So for that, let us consider now same thing. An object is moving along a circular path. When it is moving, the direction of velocity is in this direction, V bar. And the acceleration direction is towards the center, that is AM. The angle between these two is zero. So therefore, work done F, work done is equal to F bar, S bar, cos 90, here this is 90 degrees. So what happens now? The work done is cos 90 means 0. So in this case also, the work done is 0, 0 work. Now, when this work can become as positive work, let us see now. When this work can be positive work, so when it will become as positive work means when the angle between the force and displacement is zero. In the case of previous example, like the mass as m, force is f, displacement is s bar, this is the force direction, this is the displacement direction, angle between them is theta is 0. Therefore, work done is F bar, S bar, cos 0. Work done is equal to F bar, S bar. The work done is positive here. Let us see now, work done can also be negative, how it is, a negative work means the angle must be 180 degrees. Let us consider now, an object was projected from the ground vertically up. Now always the object is when it is moving vertically upward acceleration due to gravity is in the downward direction. We will write this one as acceleration is in the downward direction that is g. So now what happens now? object is displacing in the upward direction. The displacement is upward direction. The object is falling like this. Angle between them is 180 degrees. Therefore, work done is equal to F bar, S bar, Cos of 180, that is work done is equal to cos 180 is minus, so 
So that is minus s bar s bar. So this is negative work done. So when you can say zero work theta is 90 degrees. When you can say positive work theta is zero degrees. When you can say negative work theta is 180 degrees. Zero work done, positive work done, negative work done. So zero work done we have seen in three cases. Positive work done we have seen in this case. Negative work done in the case of vertically projected object. Angle between displacement of the object, acceleration due to gravity, downward direction. So angle between them is 180. When the angle between them is 180, W is equal to F bar, S bar, cos 180. That is work done is equal to minus Fs. So we try to know about still how to measure the work. we came to know now the work done is f bar s bar f bar dot s bar or f bar s bar cos theta according to the formula of the work done we can write units in that I am going to tell you about SI unit. So first work done is equal to force will be measured in Newton, displacement will be measured in meter that is Newton meter this can also be called as according to the scientist Joel they are giving the name of the work done as the SI unit of work done as Joel or Newton meter is nothing but it is a Joel so therefore the work done is equal to Newton is kilogram meter s power minus 2 into meter that is equal to kilogram meter into meter is meter square s power minus 2 we are calling this kilogram meter square s power minus 2 as joule Therefore, the work done SI unit is job. Now, CGS unit. CGS unit of work done. Now, work done is equal to force into displacement. In CJ system, force will be measured in dyne. Displacement will be measured in centimeter. Dyne centimeter is a CGS unit of work done. So we can write work done is equal to Dine nothing but gram centimeter s power minus 2 into centimeter. This can be written as gram centimeter into centimeter centimeter square s power minus 2. We can call this 
gram centimeter square s power minus 2 as erg. So finally, we came to know that work done, work done, SI units are joule kilogram m square s power minus 2. Serious unit of work done as gram centimeter square s power minus 2. This can be called as erg. So still some more units of work done we are having. So what are those some more units of work done? Some more units of work done as one joule is can also be written as ten power seven erg. How can we write that? So as we come came to know that one joule is equal to kilogram m square s power minus two. 1 joule is equal to as you all know that kilogram nothing but 1 kg kilo kilo nothing but we can write this one as 10 power 3 so that is 10 power 3 gram meter m is equal to 10 square centimeter so just write down here 10 square centimeter whole square s power minus 2 that is equal to 10 power 3 gram into 10 square whole square is 10 power 4 centimeter square s power minus 2 here bases are same power should be added that is 10 power 3 plus 4 is 7 gram centimeter square s power minus 2 gram centimeter square s power minus 2 nothing but we are writing this one as erg so 1 joule is 10 power 7 erg. We can write the reverse of this one as 1 erg is equal to 10 power minus 7 joule. 1 joule equal to 10 power 7 erg. 1 erg equal to 10 power minus 7 joule. We can write still electron volt 1 electron volt that is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule we can write the reverse of this one so that is 1 joule is equal to 1 by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 electron volt. So, what is the value of this 1 by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19? One John is equal to. 6.25 into 10 power 18 electron volt. Other unit of work done is mega electron volt. 
one mega electron volt is equal to how many joules? That is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 into mega is nothing but 10 power 6. So, we will write here into 10 power 6 joule that is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 13 joule. Reverse of this one that is 1 joule is equal to 1 by 1.6 into 10 power minus 13 electron volt that is equal to 6.25 into 10 power you can write it as 8 electron volt these are some more units of work done one is joule arc electron volt the electron volt we are writing in joule next one is mega electron volt that is also we are representing in terms of joule so finally we came to know that the work done depending on the factors as one is force and another one is displacement and another one is the component of the force we can measure the work done in the units of joule arc mega electron volt and electron volt these are the units so in the first concept of the work done we came to know the topics as like the work done as positive work done zero work done negative work done also